Well, she was only 17 when she became a household name and stepped into the family business. Stephanie McIntosh got her big break on Neighbours, following in the I'm footsteps of her half-brother Jason Donovan. It made sense that Steph found herself in showbiz, given her mum, Sue McIntosh, found fame on the Paul Hogan show in Countdown, and Steph's babysitter was none other than <laughs> Kylie Minogue. <laughs> She's still going to be all right. How can she not be with so many people to love and care for her? It's not always enough, is it? It can make the difference. So 10 years ago, she released her debut album, which went gold on the ARIA charts in just a week, boasting two top 10 hits. Now, Steph is over in La La Land, not the movie, just the place, <laughs> juggling a career in front of and behind the camera with her favourite role of all, being a mum to two-year-old daughter, Mila. Steph McIntosh joins us live out of LA. Lovely to see you, Steph. Hi, Larry and Kylie. Thank you, you too. Mm -hmm. All right, let's, <laughs> let's walk through it one step at a time. It's, it's been 10 years since your album was released. Uh, you never felt sort of ready to record again, as we understand it, but you're considering uh, heading back to the studio, right? I, I don't think I could ever be done with music. The thought of letting it go all together, it, 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 it just can't happen. But I, yeah, I guess I focused on other th on the other mediums, which was acting and, and now family. But um, I have been fortunate enough over here to record still and write a lot of music. I'm, I'm very lucky. Some family friends of ours are all in the music industry, being the Farrars, uh, John Farrar, Stevie Kipner. They're, they're great songwriters. and. Um, yeah, very influential, so good to be around. So I've been in the studio and, and dabbled a little bit, but not quite ready to release again. Although with the 10 years, I feel like I, I need to maybe honour that and and re-release the tracks to anyone that was interested back at, yeah. in the time. Yeah, good idea. Honour it. That's a, yeah. that's, that's a good way I've got going about. Showbiz runs in the family for you. I mean, did you ever want to rebel and, and take a totally different path or were you drawn to it? Oh, I mean, yeah, absolutely. Sometimes you, it, it was, it was so much, and it was so, you know, surrounded by it. But to be honest, it was, it's in my blood and has been from the get-go. I, I, I had to, you know, prove to mum and dad that I was really determined and, and passionate, as passionate as I am about it. And um, you know, it started back in the school plays. You know, like the school musicals, playing Dorothy in the Wizard of Oz. I just. It's just been a part of me for since I can remember. Yeah. Now, one time you were so crazy busy. You're an actress, a singer. You had the, your own reality show called The Steph Show. But mm -hmm. you say, and this is no surprise, you said it just got all too much for you. Yeah. I mean, um, it was a lot, and I was so much younger, and you're just thrown into this machine, and. Uh, but you know, I was so fortunate. I had the best times of my life doing Neighbours. I, I was so lucky to be signed with Universal Music. I had, you know, the record was so great and I had the Steph show. I mean, basically it was all happening and when it rains it pours, they say. So I was, honestly, I look back and just feel so fortunate to have had such incredible opportunities and, and to have had success with it. Because you were being managed by Glenn Wheatley. Uh, that's right, who, who of course was John Farnham's manager for more than 20 years. And then mm -hmm. came the time when he ran into a bit of trouble. So, so that must have been such a difficult time for you, I guess, when, you, when your manager is, is put away. Yeah, it was. It, it definitely had an effect on me. I, we were very close and, um, you know, we had a lot of success together and, and what we were doing was working. So, you know, we had, yeah, singles in the charts, we had the album, the show, the neighbours, it was all happening and, I, and it was at my peak. And, I guess I was just in shock and I was younger again and, I, and a bit green with how the business worked and I felt for him and I felt a bit lost really mm. with it all but um, yeah you know you come up for air and, and it leads you to other incredible things and I feel so fortunate because it all led me to where I am now and that's life experience and mm. growing up and, and being more educated on the business and, and of course to my beautiful family Miller and Pete. Yeah, let, let's talk about since you've moved away to LA, what's that done for you as a person? Because so, it crushes some people, other people, you know, grow up very, very quickly. What's your life been like there? Yeah, all of that. I mean, it, it, it definitely, it, it, it throws you in the deep end and it's, uh, it's incredibly challenging and I've definitely had the pity parties, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> the, the auditions can be pretty, you know, pretty full on. Um, and, and the rejection is, is the real deal. But 
you know, the silver lining for me, as I said, is is yeah, growing up in a bit of pri with privacy and and enjoying my time, uh, sort of to discover what I really want and, and who I am and all those cliches and and it's kind of amazing to yeah to get the opportunity to grow up and and actually learn everything and, and get some wisdom on on life and sort of just step back for a second and and take it all in and, and reassess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, and, and your brother Jason Donovan, of course, I guess he's been a, a source of advice for you. He, you know, it, we, we haven't really spoken about career a lot, which is, you'd think we would, but when we have in the past, you know, he always just encouraged me to be professional and, and to enjoy the ride. Mm. As my family all have, you know, they've all all been in the business and mum and dad have always, always given me the great advice to, um, you know, I remember dad saying on my first day of Neighbours, make sure you, you, you know who the crew are and, and who you're around and yeah, just have fun and enjoy it. And I think in hindsight now, I, I was so, uh, you take a lot of it for granted at that age and, and you know, I just feel lucky at, to have had the ride I've had and to now, you know, yeah, look at it, back at it and, and, and enjoy it. Uh, Miller is two years old. When she says to you she when she's is. six, Mummy, I want to be in the movies, what are you going to say? Oh. <laughs> I, I, of course, I want her to follow whatever makes her happy, but, um, yeah, I mean, I would probably encourage her to listen to her parents, as I should have done more with mine. Um, but, oh, listen, I, I, I would hate for her to go through the rejection that I have seen and been a part of. It, it can be really heartbreaking and you can just get so frustrated by it all but I, I think I would encourage her of course to follow her passions and if that's what she wants to do then we'll be right behind her and and to you know try and find that balance which is what I I've worked on now I guess growing up and yeah. and finding that um, yeah just the joy in the in the ride of it all and not focusing so much on the destination and and where you're you know the end of it all just the whole thing yeah, yeah. um look we know that you want to talk about this and we know that you were really close to Maddie Rewalt, who the sister of Nick Rewalt, the AFL star, and who's your former boyfriend. Yes. Oh, sadly, of course, she passed away two years ago, uh, just 26 years of age. But, but you're involved with a fantastic cause which is in Maddie's memory. Yes, it's Maddie's vision, um, one very close to my heart. Um, they established the charity about two years ago to raise awareness and, and funds for bone marrow failure syndrome. Uh, and, you know, they've, they've been incredibly great with the whole thing. Under two years, it's already raised $1.5 million. And, um, uh, yeah, I, I couldn't support it more. And if, if anyone has time or feel they could maybe go to the website, it's mrv.org.au and get behind it in any way, any support is, uh, is very welcomed and obviously very grateful on behalf of the Rewalt family and, and everyone involved. Yeah, Steph, well, we're going to put those details up on our website and uh, we hope Thank that people you. dig deep and really help there. It's a great cause. Lovely to catch up with you. Thanks for talking to us this morning. Yeah, you too, guys. Thanks so much for having me.